what stops you from being the beauty, what stops you from being the light, from, from lifetimes over lifetimes. What stops you from being that brilliance, a light that illuminates you, your life, your living, your reality, your body, your businesses, and everything else that I've not put into words here. Everything that does not allow you to be that, to be the magic of that, that bright and beautiful, that bold and beautiful, that bright, brilliant, bold and beautiful that you truly be as the full moon today. Would you now like to let go everything that does not allow you to be that, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, puck and pod, or line shots, spice and beyonds. The illusionary reality that you've been living, faking it, that is not allowing you to make the most of your brilliance. All the impossibilities that you have taken on to. All the I can't. I can't do this. I can't show up. I can't release. I can't be willing. I can't be that beautiful. I can't be that successful. I can't release the pain. All the can'ts. What if today the moon is talking about you being the catalytic converter of all the can'ts to the cans? And everything that does not allow you to experience that. To be that, to attune to that brilliance of yours, to physically actualize that brilliance, to be the magic that you truly really be. Everything that does not allow you, would you not like to let that go, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, or good, or lying, shots, wise, and beyond. The universal energies, the cosmic energies are talking a lot today. What if you could leave everything that you have learned as learned behavior? Everything that you're functioning from the lower harmonics, the fear, the anxiety, the blame, shame, regret, guilt, the obsessive, compulsive, behavior that you've taken on to. Love, sex, jealousy, peace, everything that brings up for you. Would you not like to let go of all these lower harmonics? To perceive, to know, to be, and receive these amazing illuminated full moon vibrations. The world is at its highest vibration today. Are the cells of your body talking to you? Are they vibrating at a frequency equivalent to the moon today? Are they giving you goosebumps and marking them present with you in your body, telling you to recognize them and saying a big hi. And everything that does not allow you to recognize the beauty body that you have, being in gratitude of that, that is allowing you to have fun in this lifetime. If you did not have a body, what would you be? Everything that does not allow you to be in that ultimate gratitude. Ooze with that gratitude and go deeper and deeper and deeper. All layers, all lifetimes into that depth. 
perceiving, knowing, being, and receiving that vibration there and acknowledging it. Hey, body, had you not been my friend, where would have I been today? You had always been a great communicator, but I failed you. What stopped me from communicating to you? Did I take you for granted? Did I take you for you will always be with me, happy, elated, agile, and active? But you told me and took me the right way, showing up with symptoms where I hated you, where I judged you, where I did not listen to you, the whispers that you were giving me as symptoms, where you showed up in pain, where you showed up as rashes, where you showed up as disease, where you showed up as agony. And I did not recognize it, or I did not know your language, buddy. Today, in these amazing moments, in these higher frequencies, what if you allowed your body to attune to you and you attune to that body to understand that language that this amazing body has always been speaking. Is it French? Is it German? Is it Italian? Whatever it is. What if the language of the body was of the same frequency of you? Everywhere that you did not allow yourself to attune to that frequency of the language of the body so that you would just understand and get to know the whispers of those symptoms that it creates in that very moment, instantaneously, without any further delay, so that you could never tune in to the unkindness that you have been for your own self your body and the being and the universe. Everywhere that you took that pain, everywhere that you were hooked to that pain, never allowing you to release, for you had a belief system which you did not desire to change, for change is difficult. Everywhere that you thought so, holding on to things, holding on to change, holding on to never changing anything and everything, your relationships, your jobs, your actions, your habits, perpetually which you have been doing from lifetimes over lifetimes and then this lifetime too, would you like to let go of all that, Mark, please? Into this thin air, into this thin air, into this thin air, everything that stops you, that makes you resist releasing, everything that brings up for you, would you like to let that go, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, wrong. Main shots, right, from the 